Today's collectible spots, we're having a look at the Big Bad Buddha Vinyl. was from the folks over at Beefy and Company who are also responsible for the uh, Ghost Tribe Warrior that we already had a look at. This big bad Buddha though is phenomenal and quite for that matter large. You can see really how big he's going to be by how big this box is. I mean you can't quite probably gauge it from the size of my hands but uh, take my definitely take my word for it, it is a large piece. Um, down below indicated by Beefy and Company and some interesting artwork up at the top there. ALC 99% and some some artwork design there as well. On the side, there's a picture of the Buddha, Big Bad Buddha. And on the back, just flip it around. A Big Bad Buddha by Meng Voon. I, again, apologize if I've mis mispronounced that. AKA, though, Beefy. There's a picture of the Buddha. And on finally, if I just flip around the underside of the box, you can follow Beefy over at Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash beefy dash co uh, and then forward slash, I guess they've put this number in here as well, 19955 2880086055. You can also follow them over at Twitter at beefyxpoo, P O O, Instagram at Beefy Poo. And down below it says, Warning, this product is for ages 15 and up. Keep children under three years old away from this product. This product may have small parts, but beware of choking hazard. Please pay attention when handling this product, especially with young children. Do not bend or squeeze the product forcibly. Damage to this product may result in personal injury. Handle with care. Place product in a stable position away from fire or any heat source, as exposure may result in deformation. The outer package is just protection against the damage. We cannot replace this package even if it is damaged. And then further, indicating down below, this is a piece of artwork. It is not a toy. Um, as certainly vinyl pieces go, Spot's been looking at a lot of vinyl pieces and giving me a chance to see some of the amazing artwork that these vinyl artists are producing. Having said that, I am super excited about getting this opened up and having a look at the Big Bad Buddha. Don't go anywhere, guys. There's definitely more heading your way. Stay tuned. I told you, this is a large piece, and equally so, it is a fantastic piece as well. Some phenomenal sculpt in the Big Bad Buddha. Big, Big Bad Buddha comes with several different accessories, uh, one of which being this, which I'm trying to look at this and gauge what exactly this is. I believe it's just a flask or a container of, uh, of alcohol. I'm wondering by that being ALC 99%. 99% proof perhaps, but some really nice blue coloring. It also comes with a red cord. Um, I guess you could probably just loop this around his hand if I'm believing this to be correct. But uh, really a good size piece. I mean, really, by looking at that by itself, you can see how big just this piece is alone. And then imagine that Big Bad Buddha is probably about four or five times bigger than this. Putting this to the side, Big Bad Buddha also does come with a pipe. Um, once again, some phenomenal uh, sculpting. Uh, very singular in color. I mean, it's just a, just painted straight out brown. But uh, some nice, nice uh, sculpting, though, on the pipe. You'll see, or perhaps you may not be able to see, but there's a hole right by Big Bad Buddha's lip. You can take the pipe and stick it right into his mouth area there. You kind of have to angle it down but uh, you can get something that looks like that. Which really then brings us to the Big Bad Buddha himself. Just so impressed. Spot reviews a lot of, again, vinyl pieces, and through the course of me reviewing these things, it's given me a chance to really start uh, seeing some of the amazing pieces out there that you wouldn't normally just go to your local stores and be able to find a lot of these things. You have to go to conventions or in this case with Big Bad Buddha, you have to go directly to websites specifically and order it directly from them. But I mean, just a 
gorgeous, gorgeous looking piece. He is very large, uh, not heavy. I mean, he's not a heavy piece. In fact, he feels like he could be a hollow. In fact, there's the hole on the underside there and it says Beefy and Company. Um, he also has a little bit of blood and luckily it's not my blood, but he's got a little bit of blood on his fist and it looks like some indications of blood splattered on him as well. Also, let's have a look at his face, which um, what I like about some vinyl pieces too is when they start getting into these little like detail lines. You can see like the wrinkles around his nose, uh, right above his brow area there, and then right around his eye area as well. Um, he's also sporting himself what looks to be a goatee or lower beard area there as well. And he's also got a yin and yang um, ear plugs in his ears as well. Uh, this nice gold also accents the top of his head along with these side white lines uh, that carry all the way down to the back of the big bad Buddha's head and also uh, accents and matches the white that's on the side and around on his tummy as well. Uh, for your articulation, he doesn't have a lot as it tends to be with vinyl pieces, but his head does rotate technically all the way around, but I'm pretty sure the big bad Buddha will not like that at all. He does also have a swivel in the arms, but really uh, hindered. I mean, you can really only move him up and down by about that uh, because his head is really taking up so much of the space. Uh, his other arm does rotate as well, and just want to show you guys some of the really nice uh, sculpting on the fingers. These fat, uh, chunky digits that he's got there kind of holding himself up. So, I mean, while you can move his, his arm forward, uh, really he is intended to look as if he is leaning back. Um, it, as it goes, it's not, an, like I said, it's not an articulated action figure. It's not something you're going to be posing and playing with. The thing with vinyl pieces is when you get something like this, it's something that you're going to be able to sit and look at and, and just really appreciate. Uh, to think that somebody has designed and and created pieces like this, again, it, it's, it's a fun experience to be able to get out there and meet some of the designers who are producing pieces like this. Um, I, between this one and the Ghost Tribe Warrior, I mean, I, I'm really impressed by what, by what I'm seeing with from Beefy and Company. And uh, definitely, if you guys are interested as well, I'm going to provide the links down below. You can check out not only the Big Bad Buddha and, again, some of the other pieces as well. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Beefy and Company Big Bad Buddha. Stay tuned guys, Spot's going to have more vinyl figures heading your way and other collectible Spot videos heading your way as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.